Well, hi, my friends. Welcome to Time Shine Homestead. I hope you're all having a great day today. Um, we're going to do, do a quick uh, lawn and garden tour, and then we're going to talk a little bit and a shout out for one channel or two channels. Um, these are the pansies I put in here for my wife last year. I got them spreading pretty good, eh? I, 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 and uh, my strawberries, guys, are coming up just outrageous. They got flowers all over them. Some of them, look at this. My, this is my wild strawberry patch that I put in here four years ago, guys. And they're getting strawberries on them already. You can see the strawberries coming. Look, it's growing really good this year. Last year, it didn't grow as well. But this year, I'm going to get my seven, eight freezer bags of berries. No problem, guys. I got sunflowers coming up on their own. They're John from Willow Grow. Much love, brother. I didn't even plant your seeds. These are ones that just came up on their own. And they're looking awful healthy. These ones, uh, I'm going to fertilize really good. I might be able to beat you with my own sunflowers. I doubt it, though. You're really good at it. Like you're one, you, one you grew last year was outstanding. I, it, it scared me. I love you, brother. Anyways, um, I'd like to give a shout out. These are hosses, guys. Um, there's, there's all kinds of perennials in here. There's a barn house plant. I forget the name of that one. Um, these are flocks over here, guys. That's that's a pink flocks. This is a called. I told you guys the real name of this plant last last year. It's a medicinal plant, so I don't want to really talk about it. You're not allowed to, really. I call it the cotton candy plant. That's a that's a purple blue hossa, hossa or hossa. These are striped hossas, and hossas are very good to eat this time of year. You can put them in salads. Very healthy for you. I got hossas all over the place. My metal stage is barely coming up. These are miniature white irises, my friends. And uh, I did, I lost, I lost, out of those 77 seedling tomatoes, guys, because of the heat, I put them out in the sun, I shouldn't have, made a big mistake, I lost 80% of my tomato seedlings, but, so if you're going to put tomatoes outside this year, guys, because it's really hot this year, put them in when they're at least this size, that one took right away, no problem, um, so this shout out will be for growing something with Jeff, I feel really bad that you, you lost all those seedlings, Jeff, but you will bounce back, brother, because you're a great gardener, and a great friend and I I did the same thing as you buddy I made the same mistakes um so if you haven't visited growing something with Jeff's channel outstanding channel very loving person likes to laugh he's just a great guy you will bounce back brother but anyways so I still do have a couple big tomato plants guys um I will I'll be putting them in the ground soon I um, these, these are what I got going so far these are two day old cucumber seeds doing well corn's coming up already no problem i got all kinds of different kinds of squash you can see they're coming up all right just no problem guys um the peppers that i, I did from cosmic cultivator seeds awesome look how nice they are but every other than that everything's going pretty well my friends um a little upset about time to show i don't usually make, make mistakes like that but i'm only human guys um but this is a barn house plant as well guys um, it will get up to six to eight feet high and, and it's, you can see I got all kinds of mint guys all kinds of mint which I will show you later in other videos um, this is my cone plant it doesn't even usually come up till July it's already up and she's just gonna run that across the canoe very quickly you're not gonna because I want to be spraying very quickly all kinds of stuff growing in a canoe my friends um, this, this is a little for John hey John John brother Oh, I got more sunflowers back here, too, by the way, John. And I'm sprouting your seeds today, brother. I'm going to try it. And my rhubarb's up, guys. Um, I got the big zucchini plant transplanted into manure and great big professional grow pots. I think I'm just going to grow this one right in that. Those were just male flowers, but the zucchini zucchini's coming, John. I'll have the zucchini on this before you even get yours in a potter, brother. But I'm a little afraid, John, because you're, you're great at growing everything, my friend. This is uh, the, the smaller one, but it's already crawling already, John. Look, I just put stakes around it. Nice and green. It's already crawling. So I should have early zucchinis this year, guys. I am growing all kinds of different squash and zucchinis. I have, a, a, this is all potatoes here, guys. Don't step on the sunflowers, please, Mrs. Timeshine. All potatoes in here. And I got the big garden out front. All 39 feet long, all potatoes, and there's other stuff going in on the end. And my mugwort's up, guys. 
My lemon bomb's barely coming up. That's mugwort. Um, I don't know how this flock got here, but it just somehow got there. And this is a wild onion here. Wild onion here, guys. This is a wild onion. And this, and what's this? This is comfrey. Comfrey. And you can feed it to the chickens. And you can eat this. It's very healthy for you. You can feed it to the chickens as well. Even Jandier told me you can even feed it to the chick chickens. Um, much love, Jandier. And here's another shout I want to give to Gypsy and Vanilla Gorilla. Uh, I'm sorry I've been away for a while, guys. I just had, I had to have a break. Um, I got a lot of things going on. I really miss you guys. And uh, we we will be sending some uh, mail out to you guys in June as well. And we're kind of excited to give you some Canadian things. Um, much love to you guys. You guys mean the world to us. Just like the rest of our community, you guys all mean the world to us. So we'll continue on with this little journey. Um, this is a medicinal plant too, but I forget the name of it. Um, wild ed if you want to know more about it, wild edibles, we'll, we'll tell you. Now this perennial here came up last year, and I don't know what it is, but it has a pretty flower on it after. That's a, a, a rare phlox, which is a deep, dark purple. That is a miniature blue iris. It is so pretty when it's done. Yes, there's mint in here. There's all kinds of stuff be, be going to be coming, coming in here, guys. So I got a new miniature iris. This is an adult iris. I don't really have very many adult iris. I like the miniatures are bigger anyway. Um, it's blue and yellow. And this is a, a red miniature iris. I got it last year. It didn't come up, guys. Um, these are pure white irises, as I, to, as I told you. So my property, she, she'll take you out. Like, my, I cut the grass yesterday for the first time. Everything's looking great, my friends. A lot more perennials I missed. I will show you in the, in the, in, in the next video, you guys. Uh, this is a day lily. Come over here, hunt. This is a daylily, my dear friends. I only put one in last year, now I got four. Um, very good for you to eat. I'll tell you more about that soon. This is ginger mint over here. I have two kinds of mint. This is ginger mint, which is it's coming up. Really good, my friends. So anyways, guys, my lady of the land's up. There's another name for it too. I've got this all full, full for peppers and that. I'm all excited, bee bonds coming up. Um, you're not, not a gardener without this plant, and you'd have to ask Robert Aquarius uh, about this plant, guys, because I forget the name of it. I, my, my yellow lilies are coming up. I only, only put one in a year or two ago. Now I got them coming up everywhere, and, and I got a maple tree in here, guys. That's hilarious. I don't, and somebody's bought it already. This is actually a, a rare type of clover, guys. I have two of them. But anyways, um, lots of stuff growing, guys. Lots of stuff going on here at Time to Shine, guys. Uh, it's going to be a really hot year, so the water is going to be very expensive water. So I will be putting out an extra couple rain barrels because I want to start to save money. Water prices here are just outrageous, guys. Like, actually scary. Like, <laughs> laugh out loud. But anyways, guys, um, I got a lot of stuff to do today. I want to, I've been really busy lately. The black, fly, the black flies are here this year. We haven't had them for two years. Now they're here. But anyways, guys, i got a lot of stuff to do because I want to get a lot of stuff done today. I want to go fishing a little bit later. I want to say much love and God bless you, my friends. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in, in, in the video, my friends. Much love and God bless.